Westclox was a former manufacturer and is a current brand of clocks and alarm clocks. The company's historic plant is located in Peru, Illinois. Early history as United Clock Company Charles Stahlberg and others from Waterbury, Connecticut, formed the United Clock Company on December 5, 1885, in Peru, Illinois, intending to manufacture clocks based on a technological innovation by Stahlberg. Stahlberg patented this innovation on September 22, 1885, U.S. Patent No. 326602, which involved the use of molded lead alloy movement plates with inset brass bushings as well as lead alloy gear assemblies. Shortly after receiving the 1885 patent, United Clock Company went bankrupt, and there are no known surviving examples of the patented clock. <laughs> <laughs> Bankruptcies, reorganizations, and mergers In 1887, the company reorganized under the new name Western Clock Company and again went bankrupt, and F. W. Mathieson reorganized it in 1888 as the Western Clock Manufacturing Company. In 1908, the company received a patent for the Big Ben alarm clock movement. This movement has a bell back design, meaning that the bell mechanism is integral to the clock's case. The company first brought the Big Ben to market in 1909. The company's name was shortened to Western Clock Company in 1912. In 1910, the Big Ben became the first alarm clock advertised nationally, with ads placed in the Saturday Evening Post. The modern trademark of the company, West Clocks, first appeared on the back of Big Ben alarm clocks from 1910 to 1917. The name appeared on Big Ben dials as early as 1911. The company officially registered this trademark on January 18, 1916. In 1919, Western Clock Co., Ltd., was incorporated. Twelve years later, in 1931, the company merged with Seth Thomas Clock Company, with both companies becoming divisions of General Time Corporation. The West Clocks unit became known as West Clocks Division of General Time Corporation in 1936. Topic. World War II wartime efforts In 1938, West Clocks introduced its first portable travel alarm clock to the market. During World War II, West Clocks and other General Time Corporation subsidiaries produced aviation instrumentation and control components, compasses for the United States Army, and clocks for the United States Navy. From 1942 to 1945, West Clocks ceased all production intended for domestic civilian sale and dedicated its production resources to the war effort, becoming a major manufacturer of fuzzes for military ordnance. <laughs> Watches The West Clocks Company was a major manufacturer of dollar watches. It started production of an inexpensive, back-winding pocket watch in 1899, which was intended to be affordable to any working person and continued producing cheap pocket watches into the 1990s. <laughs> Late 20th century developments. In 1959, West Clocks introduced and patented its drowse 
Alarm, which was one of the first of its kind powered by electricity, which integrated what is now more commonly known as a snooze function. Tally Industries acquired General Time in 1968. Westclocks introduced its first quartz movement in 1972. In 1988, the management of Tally Industries purchased General Time from the company. Another bankruptcy shortly followed, and Salton, Inc. acquired the Westclocks and Big Ben trademarks in 2001. In October 2007, Salton sold its entire time products business, including the West Clocks and Ingraham trademarks, to NYL Holdings LLC. Topic: 2012 New Year's Fire. In the early morning of January 1, 2012, a fire broke out at the West Clocks compound in Peru, Eel. The fire destroyed about 50% of the structure. Two teens were charged with aggravated arson, Stephen M. Gallagher then 17, of La Salle, Eel, and an unidentified minor then 16. The fire required firefighters and police from 20 surrounding municipalities to extinguish. One firefighter, LaSalle fireman Steve Smith, sustained a career-ending injury when a fire hose attached to a hydrant popped loose and the metal coupling on the end hit him in the leg. Gallica was convicted of aggravated arson on October 11, 2012, with a sentence of 6 to 30 years without the possibility of parole. Gallica's sentence of aggravated arson was the direct result of the fire plus Smith's injury. Topic. See also. West Clocks Scotland